안녕하세요. Aloha from South Korea. Today we're gonna make Turkish bread. Ekmek balon. I think that's how you say it. Turkish bread. There's a Turkish restaurant outside of Osan Air Force Base. It's about 30 minutes from us. I always get the grilled lamb. So unalicious book them out. Anyway, so one day we saw this guy bringing out this bread and I was like, Wow, that's pretty cool. What is that? Because it was big and puffy. So I looked it up and I tried making it. It's so good fun. So we're going to make Turkish bread. All right, first we get our yeast ready. You guys know I love yeast. It smells like sweet, clean feet. I have warm water, sugar, and yeast. I'm gonna mix that up. I mix it up to help it activate. Now we'll put this aside so we can let it, what you call, foam up. While we're waiting for the yeast to foam, I get one cup of flour, all-purpose white flour. Okay. Put it in my mixing bowl. The yeast is foamy at the top, so it's ready. I got my flour, one cup flour. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of salt. Snowing, snowing. Oh, the snow has stopped in South Korea. <laughs> but it's still cold. All right, oh, my glove. And I'm gonna put about half a teaspoon of olive oil. I just go eyeball them. They look like half. Now we're gonna slowly mix in our yeast. A little cold. Put a little in. It's kind of like pita bread, but um, lighter. And like I told you, it pops up like a balloon. If you have a brick oven, that would be great. If not, I use the grill. Not grill, I use the broiler. So I slowly mix in the yeast water. I'm gonna put, oops, I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of raw sesame seeds. Optional, you don't have to. I like to. I love sesame seeds. It's a little on the sticky side, but that's how we want it. Now we're gonna let it because I want the oven to heat and the pan to get hot also. So while that's happening, I'm going to start rolling out the dough. bigger if you like. I like my medium size. Let's do two here. 
When the dough is ready, I break it off about golf ball size, then I flatten it and I roll it. I show you. Thin. I like mine thin. Like that thin. Like that thin. Like that thin. I like them thin. Thin. Oop, I'm pulling the bugger. Then we let it rest for another 15 to 20 minutes. Alright. I got my pan hot and I got the dough has rested. Now I'm gonna put it in the broiler. And then I gotta keep an eye on them. I'm gonna pull them out now. How cool is that? Oh no, a little, little bit toasty. That is so cool. That's so cool. How it pops up. I'm gonna eat you. Yum, yum, yummy. It's like a pita and a tortilla got married, and this is their child. <laughs> Good fun, yeah? And oh no, delicious. I like to eat it with hummus, olives, and cucumbers. <clears throat> Kamsamnida, aloha from South Korea.